What's up? This is Nostalgia Shorts. We're looking at the top categories for the Oscars this Sunday, and we're going to be looking at Best Picture. So we have a lot of nominee nominees. Let's run through them. Arrival, Fences, Hacksaw Ridge, Hell or High Water, Hidden Figures, La La Land, Lion, Manchester by the Sea, and Moonlight. It's going to be La La Land. Yep, but should it be? <laughs> no, it should be Moonlight. I agree, and that's that's the hard thing. Is Chazelle's going to win for Best Director. Yeah. I think it should be Barry Jenkins. They're, they, I don't think these movies can be more polar opposites. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, one is a, on a small budget, very... Fast shoot. Yeah, and it really was very, actually a very small story in a lot of ways. Yeah. La La Land, big production budget, right. very flashy. Very and a, Yeah, and a huge story. Um, it, yeah, and I guess based on our reviews on our podcast, I think we both lean Moonlight as probably the deeper film. La La Land. Well, that, that's I don't even think that's debatable. And La La Land is more just a more enjoyable, yeah, movie going experience. So, uh, it's too bad that a movie like Arrival came in this year because yeah. I feel like it could have gotten a lot more awards and got a lot Definitely. more shine in another year. But it's just up against a force like La La Land. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd, be ni- it'd be nice if Bella New could have got a win, mm-hmm. even the hot streak he's on. But you know, like you said, I think Chazelle is going to get Best Director, and. 62 out of our 88 Best Picture winners also won Best Director. Right. So I, I don't think that's going to be broken uh, this, this Sunday. La La Land versus Moonlight, it's really tough because I think it, people have been making a big deal about the, you know, Ode to Hollywood movie. Mm-hmm. They're obviously going to pick that, you know, setting the artist as right. a key example. But Moonlight, I think, will pick up some of the other categories. But overall, La La Land was seen by more people. And yeah. it's just, you know, it is what it is. It's 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 been the tour de force, and even if people have been coming at it a little, you know, more negatively lately, Moonlight might be closer than it was, but it's still all, and it's still going to get it. Yeah. And it sucks for the rest of the movies, because this actually is a really strong Best Picture race. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we didn't even mention Hacksaw Ridge or Hidden Figures. Yeah. Nice uh, comeback from Mel Gibson. Yeah. Hidden Figures late come up to even get in the, in the category, mm-hmm. and now it's the highest grossing of all of these films. Right. Uh, so yeah, it's a really strong year, but it's La La Land versus Moonlight. We're going with Moonlight as our personal pick, but La La Land will win. Right. And so will Giselle. Well, find out if we're right this Sunday. Tweet at us, at NostalgiaPod, and uh, come back for more Nostalgia Shorts.